Aleister Crowley defined magic as the science and art of causing change to occur in conformity with will. Thus, any act, be it ritual or mundane, is magic. He added that it is theoretically possible to cause in any object any change of which that object is capable by nature. These are very serviceable definitions of magic. It allows for every flavor under the sun and moon to be a viable exercise. It also removes the stigma of the supernatural from the equation. After all, what is more natural than magic? However, a troubling trend for me is the atheism I find so prevalent among practitioners in recent years. Oh, it's always been around, but I find the godless ranks swelling throughout the greater magical community. Even amongst heathens, there's an undercurrent of irreligion. The gods are seen as a metaphor, as symbols of aspects of nature. I find this disturbing. Granted, I hold firmly that it is your right as a free man or woman to disavow the holy powers, but for me, I cannot see denying the existence of entities beyond the scope of our understanding when the evidence of their presence within the rites we perform is undeniable. Crowley said, it is spoken of the Sephiroth in the paths, of spirits and conjurations, of gods, spheres, planes, and many other things which may or may not exist. It is immaterial whether these exist or not. By doing certain things, certain results will follow. Students are most earnestly warned against attributing objective reality or philosophic validity to any of them. Look, I'm a simple man. If it looks like a duck and quacks like it, well, you get my meaning. I'm not interested in convincing anyone that the gods are as real as you or I, no more than I spend my time as a paranormal investigator seeking to prove the existence of spirits. No matter the evidence, believers will believe and non-believers will not. Each of us have our own journey. I respect yours so long as you respect mine. That magic works so long as we adhere to its laws is enough, I guess.